Okay, welcome back everyone. We hope that you've learned now what train surfing is and why we were asking you if you liked doing dangerous things. So these days there is a popular trend of people instead of staying inside the carriage, they seem to be wanting to be outside the carriage. <laughs> Not something that I think I would enjoy, but as Pauline mentioned in the summary, uh, in many parts of the world, being on the outside of the train carriage is actually a necessity for people. Mm, right. So in places like India or South Africa, because the inside of the carriages are so overcrowded, they have no choice but to kind of hang on to the outside or hang on to the top. But maybe because that is so common, maybe the drivers kind of have that in mind, I mm -hmm. think. So while uh, people do have accidents, they lose their footing on like the slippery outside right. of the train or uh, fall off just due to other reasons. Uh, it's, a, it's a very common part of their culture in those parts of the world, but there's kind of a dangerous trend that has started forming. And so if you guys have played the game Subway Surfer, maybe this is this is uh, contributed to the popularity of this. But it started out in Russia, where most extreme sports seem to tend to originate from, I think. Those Russians. <laughs> They're always thinking of something crazy to do. So many people have started to film themselves on the, the roofs of the carriages, holding on, surfing to see how long they can stay on. And so even though people have lost their friends, like witnessed it in front of their eyes, they are still continuing to do it. And admittedly, they say it's because of the adrenaline rush that they get from being on the outside of the carriage instead of the inside of the carriage. Mm -hmm. And as with all things, especially because of social media, this trend has now unfortunately reached the US. And so two teenagers have lost their lives in recent months due to uh, sub, uh, subway surfing, train surfing. Oh my God. Mm. And so it has also escalated to the New York City subway. Ah, that's the where... New York City subway. <laughs> uh, something, something unusual, I feel, is always happening in the New York subway. And unfortunately, a couple decided to try to do a lewd act on top of the roof of the train. Naughty, naughty. Completely <laughs> naked in front of all of the onlookers, regardless of whether they were children or adults. And so people are up in arms about it. <laughs> and so the whole point of train travel is that you're supposed to be safe and comfortable. But unfortunately, people want to have the thrill or maybe the social media fame of recording themselves on the outside. And so, yes, unfortunately, there's a new trend. So I hope that this does not, co like, not continue in Korea. Oh, I don't want uh, to see it. <laughs> yes, I was like, the subways are perfectly comfortable. I am OK on the inside, yeah. I think. So speaking about the trains, you and I are both in Korea. How many hours a week do you think you spend on the subway or the train <clears throat> each week? Um, well, I work six days a week. It mm -hmm. takes me uh, roughly an hour mm -hmm. uh, to go to work. So come back home, um, the commute maybe two hours per day, mm -hmm. 12 hours a week. Usually my Sundays, I'll just stay home or walk around the area. So 12 hours a week mm -hmm. seems Quite a lot yeah, to, quite a to lot. devote for, you know, just uh, commuting to mm. you know, work and home. Mm. How about yourself? Uh, I think I'm very lucky. Usually I work very early in the morning and very late at night. Mm -hmm. So my commute is OK, maybe 30 minutes each oh, way. But that's nice. Yeah, because my work is split. I, it's probably the same as you. Mm. Two hours a day on the, the train or I try to take the bus if I can, if the right. weather is nice. Mm -hmm. mm, so long commutes for both of us, I right. think. So have you ever seen anyone doing something crazy <clears throat> on the train? <laughs> um, I'm, last week I saw this man who was uh, passed out from you know drinking too much. Mm. And so he was sprawled out on <laughs> all the seats. So me and my uh, co-worker were quite upset because we wanted to sit down. So it was something oh, that no. we were like, uh, <laughs> so frustrating. Uh, yeah. But other than that, I don't really see any strange behavior mm. you know, besides like uh, maybe some grandmas and grandpas arguing oh, yeah, right. over the seats. <laughs> but nothing, nothing like I've seen on videos in mm. New York subways or trains. 
That's the story that I have. I、uh, went to I went to New York、oh、many、no. years ago on the subway, and someone was doing parkour on the train.、Oh. <laughs> Very late at night. Were so, they good at it? At least, honestly, I was quite impressed. But at the time, I was also very shocked. Yeah, <laughs> I'd never seen anything like that.、Yeah. So kind of like holding onto the handles and jumping and spinning.、Mm-hmm. It was quite the show. It's、uh, like entertainment on the go. Yes, scary entertainment. I didn't know what the purpose was, and at the time, I don't think I had seen any social media videos、mm. of things happening like this in New York subway. So I was. Super shocked, and my friends and I were like holding on to each other, <laughs> like, "Oh my gosh, what is happening right now?" But thankfully, I've never seen anything too crazy in Korea.、Mm. That's lucky. <laughs>、mm. So we hope that you can learn something from today. Please stay inside of the train carriages. Don't try surfing on the outside; too dangerous. <laughs> and then we also hope that you can try to use some of the vocabulary from today's article in your everyday life. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Carriage. Carriage. Keep one's footing. Keep one's footing. Onlooker. Onlooker. Lude. Lead. Decidedly. Decidedly.